Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys what we need in the cycle. So I actually went into the suggestion page on the cycle discord and I found a ton of things that I think would help make this game a better game. So I'm going to talk about a few of those in here and a few of these are my own, but I will be giving credit to those who made the ideas if I didn't come up with them. So starting off, the thing that I kind of want most is a stats page inside of the game. If you guys don't play Fortnite, then you guys probably won't understand this next thing. But the stat page can be found in Fortnite where you can basically see what you've done in each game. And I think it's going to be cool if they can implement something like this to see like how many times you're finishing first, what your average VP is, basically what you can see on the leaderboards, but maybe bring it into the game and make it real time. That would be super cool to see. But I don't know if they are going to be planning on working on this, but if they do, then it would be awesome. And just another thing to put on top of that, if you could see like what happened your last game, because I know like a ton of times I actually exit to the station way too much and I want to know what happened in that last game. And that kind of brings us to my next idea is what if we had a replay mode? So once again, this is kind of going based on what Fortnite had. But I think that if we had a replay mode, it would be super cool because if the people who aren't able to record can basically watch their gameplay and study it and evaluate it and see what they're doing wrong, if they're like dying too much, if they're wasting too much time killing AIs, it's just a really cool mode to have. So another thing that they need to address is that a ton of people stop playing after they get to level 10 just because like it will get repetitive if you just like keep on winning and you can't keep up so they definitely have to find something to do with that and i think that they have been researching that just because they want people to keep playing the game and i will talk about that a bit later but definitely if we could find a way to keep people playing, I'm thinking a ranked mode might help, but that video is probably either going to be releasing soon or have already been released. So be sure to check out my channel to see that. But the next thing that I think we really need is the ability to drop weapons and abilities. This is one of the biggest things because you can't really sort your inventory right now at this stage of the game. You can only fill up your inventory and then drop items and repick them up. And it's just a huge struggle. I think that if they can implement some kind of system where you can just like change your inventory and drop items for your partners or for other random people that you might meet, I think that it could be a very good addition to the game. So this next idea actually comes from the Discord. It is a station social space. So this is Series VR and it says, suggestion, instead of having us hang about in a menu screen, what about like a social space for us to socialize with our fellow prospectors, a place where we could test out various weapons, gear up for loadouts for future games, craft gear to put in our loadouts, team up with fellow prospector for futures games as well as obviously queuing for those matches and so i think that what that really does is it kind of gives it a destiny like feel if you guys ever played destiny i think it would be pretty cool if they like had an area where you could maybe like 1v1 or like fight each other while you're actually queuing up for a game and somebody else actually mentioned this i'm gonna go ahead and check what their name is but the person who came up with this idea was Monkey Chow 01. So he basically says that while the training ground's a good place to go while matchmaking, if we made it like a solo game where your team could like queue in and start fighting each other, then that might get people to wait during the long queue times that we have right now. So definitely two great ideas. If you put them together, I think it could be a very cool addition to the game. And I would like to see this maybe happen in the future. I know that it would be kind of hard. A uh, ton of coding would have to go into that. But if they are able to actually get that done, I think that it could be a crazy addition to the game. So the next thing that I think we need to have added into the game is a way to earn Arium without purchasing it. So I know that Arium's not even in the game yet and there's no use for it, but seeing what Fortnite did I want them to not go in that same direction because in Fortnite there's not really a way to get any V bucks without purchasing a $30 game to basically earn them there I think that it would be way better for the cycle if players were able to earn Arium without 
purchasing any additional ones like maybe in game if you complete challenges you get some arium and i think that that would be super cool that way people don't have to spend money but of course this is a development company and they do want to make money in the in the whole thing so it definitely does need to just be looked into i think that it would be super cool if we had a way of not having to pay for arium that we want so earlier in the video i talked about how i was going to talk about how something that they could add to keep people playing after faction level 10 so they mentioned this in their last dev update video and it was that they're trying to come up with a battle pass type system called the fortuna pass i think that this is an awesome idea and i'm just so stoked to see it come into the game because i really love completing certain challenges like maybe if they gave us a challenge per match and then you could earn arium that way like i was just talking about but just having the ability to just grind for something like a level 100 skin in fortnite i know they used to do that and i'm pretty sure they still do it but that would definitely keep people playing and i think that it would be a great thing to implement into the game to keep people wanting and playing the game and a ton of people are getting pissed off at fortnite right now and i think that if we as a community can help like bring people into this game it could definitely go places and do well because i know that the devs actually listen to the community a ton in the cycle so i appreciate you guys i just wanted to make this video basically telling you guys what i thought would be great for the game to have and of course you guys can have your own opinions if you want to talk about it tell me in the comments down below what you think of each of the ideas if you don't agree with something be sure to let me know because i do want to know what you guys have to think as well but guys that is going to wrap up today's video i hope you guys did enjoy and we are posting daily cycle videos every single day at two o'clock p.m eastern standard time so be sure you subscribe with the notifications on but with that i will see you guys in the next one peace